Hey there guys, James Smith, or better known as the Tattoo Butcher. Today we're going to be combining two of my absolute favourites, brisket and bacon, to make brisket bacon. So let's get stuck in. So first things first guys, today we're going to be using a nice New Zealand grass fed Silver Fern Farms brisket. Also we're going to need a nice sharp knife, today I'm using a 6 inch curved boning knife. I find these really good to trim out briskets, it's a really nice flexible knife, nice and small so it can get into those nice crevices and cracks that we're going to get into today to make our brisket bacon. First things first, we're just going to trim this heavy stuff just off the top here. With brisket bacon we don't actually need to take a hell of a lot off, so the less we do the better, it makes it a little bit more simple. So we're just going to trim just this top piece just off here. And then just take any heavy fats off, which there isn't much on this brisket. Awesome, so once we've trimmed that top side again, like I said, there's not a hell of a lot that we have to trim off it. This one's really nice and clean and it's gonna make our job a lot easier. We're just gonna flip it over from here. Just take any other little bits of excessive fats off and just flatten that brisket out. Cool guys, so all this trim here we wanna keep we want to put inside a little bag and store it in our freezer and basically every time that we want to do any nice little cuts or make our brisket bacons we can keep this stored and then we eventually have enough to mince and make some awesome brisket patties or brisket sausages out of. So now that our brisket is trimmed out we're ready to put it into our dry cure. When making bacon there's two different ways that we can do it. We can either pump it or soak it in a brine or we can use a dry cure which is what we're doing today. We're just going to do a half a brisket so we're actually just going to cut this straight down the middle Keep that for a separate day. Now we're ready to put in a Ziploc bag and add our nice tasty dry cure. For the dry cure ingredients, all we need today is 400 grams of kosher salt, 200 grams of white sugar, 50 grams of curing pink salt, two tablespoons of garlic powder, five bay leaves crushed, and one tablespoon of cracked pepper. We wanna make sure we get any of that air out. Bag's nice and flat. We're ready to let it cure, I usually say seven days in the fridge, and basically every day I like to flip it over. So all that nice salt that's soaking in is just making sure it's getting all the way through. So for a half, seven days, for a whole, I usually give it around 10 days to cure properly. So while we're talking bacon, here is a really cool and creative option for you guys to try at home. Get yourself a Silver Fern Farms venison roast, and we're actually gonna make venison bacon as well. So add this into your Ziploc bag like we did with our brisket bacon, and then we're gonna add a handful of our dry cure mix, cover both sides, and we're gonna let it soak for seven days, and then cook time is slightly shorter than our brisket bacon. We're only gonna smoke this for four hours at 125 degrees Celsius. Then we're gonna have that beautiful, tasty venison bacon. So here's a brisket that I prepared seven days earlier. We've pulled it out of the fridge. This one's been vacuum packed, and we can tell that it's cured because it's gone nice and pink, and it's got that really beautiful color in it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it out of the packaging. We're gonna give it a good rinse. We wanna get all that excessive salt off the outside of it. Remember, all the good stuff is gonna be on the inside now and then we're ready to smoke it for six hours at 125 degrees Celsius. So our brisket bacon smoked for six hours. We've taken it out of the smoker. What we wanna do now is just let it cool down. We're gonna chill it, and then we're ready to slice it and then fry it and serve it. All right guys, that's a wrap on one of my favorite recipes, the almighty brisket bacon. For more amazing recipes, head over to Silver Firm Farms website. But apart from that guys, that's it from me and I'll catch you next time.